Hi and welcome back to my channel, it's Brittany from Lemperium and this video is going to go over cutting the tailor tote. It's a pattern from More Me Know and sewing it is going to be day 13 of my 13 days of Christmas. But I just wanted to real quick um, show off some of the pieces that the items that are going to be in here because on December 13th there is a drop happening for more me now for these amazing items and I don't want you to miss them. Oh yeah I'll grab it later. Uh okay so for starters there are zipper pools, stages and houses and they're in three finishes but I'm using one of each in this bag and I'm using these piano keys for um, zipper tape in here. I'm using this really pretty webbing, this pretty printed vinyl. Um, this pink glitter is a more me know, but then I'm also layering some clear vinyl over it. We're gonna go over cutting this. I'm doing exterior style two and interior style two. And speaking of interior style two, my lining for my divider pocket inside is this. So this print, this webbing, there's also piano webbing, this zipper tape, both the zipper pulls, the printed and the clear vinyl are all dropping from where we know. Um, but we're gonna go completely over cutting this out and I am so excited to sew it. Um, so I will link the sewing video in the description as soon as it's available, but this video is going up first. Um, this will be the third tailor tote I've made, the second of this style. I've made both styles and you can't go wrong no matter how you make it. Anyways, let's cut it out. We're going to get into cutting out our tailor tote and we're making this kind of extra. So we're doing exterior style two, which is section panels pieced together. And then for the interior, we're doing style two, which is style one with the cargo pocket and zippered pocket and also adding a divided center pocket. So it's a bit extra, but we got this. I am using this printed vinyl, this like really pretty pink glitter vinyl, and this clear vinyl that matches the printed vinyl. So when my bag is together, on the sides will be this printed vinyl. There will be a center with this pink glitter and then a printed clear pocket. Then I'm going to use the pink as the accent trim around the top in the gusset. I'm going to do two-toned handles and I haven't exactly decided my zipper panel, but I think it's going to be this print. I'm going to use this print for my center divider pocket. I'm going to use light pink waterproof canvas for my lining. I'm going to use this fun Aris print to line the divider pocket. So it's pretty busy, but as like the lining, it's like a surprise. I'm using this pretty webbing that matches for my crossbody strap, piano zipper tape, um, my main pool is going to be the stage. My inside zipper pocket is going to be the house. I'm just going to use two pop tab pulls for my center divider pocket. Um, I think they're easier to grab for that. I'm using an Evermore woven label. And I've got my two one and a half inch clips and a narrow one and a half inch slide. Um, it's better for the webbing. My four one inch rectangles for my handle connectors. 
two one inch D rings for my side crossbody connectors, and then I have a zipper end. So, lots of stuff. There's gonna be lots of pieces. It's fine. We've got this. We're gonna take it in chunks. Okay. Um, I purchased templates from that template shop. When you order the Taylor Tote, there is like the regular set, and then there are two add-ons you can get. Um, one add-on is for the center pocket and divider because your lining gusset pieces are going to be cut in half and you're also going to have that center pocket in there. And then one is for the piece together front. So it was a lot of pieces. Um, there's a ton of pieces here, a ton of pieces here, some pieces here. I think I got them divided out. Um, you definitely have to refer to the cut charts in the pattern. So you have a cut chart for exterior one and two. You have a cut chart for interior one and two. So you won't need all of these pieces, but I gotta go through them. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with my lining, which is so weird. I feel like, but I'm gonna do that. So set the vinyl to the side. So this piece is gonna be easy. We just need the lining for the center divider. Okay, these are exterior pieces. These are lining pieces. Yes, okay. Each is the divider center pocket. Only used for interior style too. Cut for lining. So for what I'm doing, I'm gonna cut two of my printed vinyl and two of this. And these, this is a cut on fold piece. up as best I can so it's going to be straight and make sure if you have a directional print it is going the right direction I feel like I need to tell my boyfriend that for Christmas I would like this table not to screw I should have told him I wanted a new cutting table. Is it too late? It's got like 13 days. Okay. There's one. weird that that is all I need 
using this print for, but it was kind of a last minute add on. And it's just a little something extra. I'm definitely going to find something else to make with this. exterior piece however right, I think because this is vinyl and I don't want to do the cut on the fold okay this is going the right direction I'm gonna do this so I'll cut it with my rotary, but I made, <laughs> I was like, I know it's here. I made little corner marks, so that way I will know where to line it up at. And then we just put it right on the line. Um, curves can be difficult if you have a hard time with them. You can trace it and then cut it with scissors. So there's one side. Do the same thing I just did. Flip it over, line that up. center divider pocket you can do this all in just your lining you don't have to use vinyl or exterior okay so we are done with H set it to the side okay so we'll need that vinyl in a minute okay so I'm gonna go to the interior style two Okay, my lining. We've got our zipper pocket, our lower side panels, the bottom. Is that it? No, we need something else. Okay, lower main panel is pattern piece A. <laughs> there are so many pieces. And it might be over here. Okay, you need to go in the basket because you're ready. Hey, okay, yes. This is like your main pattern piece. I know it's hard seeing templates, but this is like your whole, and if you're doing the exterior one, this shows you where to put your straps. Okay, so we need two of these. And I am so excited it's not a cut on the fold piece. So I'm just going to take my lining. I've got it doubled over here so that way I only have to cut it once. I actually like cutting curves better up top.
always. So then with exterior two and interior two, we will be done with this piece. Okay, main panel slip pocket says you can have up to two. So that is the slip packet on the outside you would cut lining pieces for it I am doing the clear pocket so I won't be putting a lining on it okay divider lower side panel so that is this piece and it does have like a straight and an angled piece and I I'm pretty sure last time I made this I got them mixed up, uh, but I was able <laughs> to make it work. Okay, so you need to cut two and two mirrored. So I have these folded um, over top of each other. So I am cutting a mirrored one as I go. So if you do this, you just need to cut it twice and you'll end up with the right pieces. But something I want to do is mark the straight sides. I'm just going to put like a little X on those because I don't want to mix it up this time. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard to tell when you've got all four of them. So there's two. Marking my straight edges again. And I'm just marking within the seam allowance. So, like, it's not going to show. You can put it on the back if you want it. I put it on the front. Doesn't matter. Because seam allowance. So, then you're done with that piece. That was a J. Okay. Now. The divider bottom panel, you can measure or use the puzzle piece and you need two of those. Divider center pocket we already did and I don't need interfacing because I'm using waterproof canvas and vinyl but if you are using a cotton woven I would suggest doing that you could um, if you have a laptop or an iPad or something that is small enough to fit in it you could always put foam in there too to help protect it okay recessed zipper panel. I do believe I have a piece for that. So I'm going to need two of those in my lining because I'm going to do two in my exterior.
Oh, wait. Yeah, it does tell you to cut four right now. So our recessed zipper panel is ready. All four pieces. Um, I'm not gonna put inner piecing on mine. Zipper pocket. And two of those. Cargo slip pocket. So she gives you measurements um, for non fraying fabric or if you are using like a cotton woven. So I'm using non fraying fabric. So there is a measurement. I'm going to pull my big old ruler out. Okay. Let's see. And I can. I'm gonna go over it real quick just to make sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, I think so. Okay, hang on. So, this will be our cargo pocket, and it will go on one side of our lining and then this will be our zipper pocket on our other side of our lining we have our recessed zipper panel okay and then we have our bottom okay so the straight edges go on the inside. Well, marking those was a great idea. Okay, so your center divider goes through here. So if you're doing it without the center divider, you would have two of this one, and then you'd have like this. I don't want to interface my lining. I didn't last time and I was happy with it because I think my
my exterior is going to have enough oomph, I guess you would say. All right, and then we have our exterior and lining for that center divider. I think the only thing we need that goes onto the inside is... overlay contract. So I'm going to cut that real quick. I'm really excited too because these have rotary corners. Trying to see if I can best fit some flowers. No. Shift a little. Let's see. So there's our zipper pocket accent. All right, the lining is done. Yay. Okay, so we're done with that. And then, sorry, I'm just like zooming in. Sure. Yes, yes. Okay, I don't need this divider center pocket interfacing because I said I wasn't interfacing that. And then these are the interfacing pieces for the lining with the divider. And I'm not using those this time. I think I'll need this for the exterior. Okay, recessed zipper panel interfacing. I'm not using that. Bottom, I will need that. I will need that. We'll need that. And that. I don't think I need this piece. Yeah, okay. There is a lower main panel interfacing, which is B, and you use that on exterior style one, but not on two. The pieces are getting less overwhelming. Okay, so we've got some interfacing pieces that I will be using on the exterior. So we will set those aside for now. And then... Let's get working on this. All right, upper main panel, which is this. So this is our contrast piece that goes around the top. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this pink glitter. Sorry, I'm gonna pull this off a little bit. I think I'm gonna do the pink glitter for the exterior and the interior, so then it matches. Okay, do I have another roll of this? Oh yeah, I have a couple. We're good. All right, upper main panel. So I'm gonna need four of these. And I'm 
I'm just gonna look at the measurement and use a ruler to cut all four at once. And then I'll cut them down. I'm just not cut that accurate. It was like just barely off. Enough that when I think I cut it, I was like, what? Okay. So there are those. So that was the upper main panel. And then there is inner facing for that. So we will wait. Then we have our upper side panel, which is this. And there are four of those. And I'm just cutting the whole piece and then cutting them down. So I'm doing the interior and the exterior the same. You could change it up if you want to. So like you have an exterior and an interior print, but I'm doing my whole main accent the same. Okay, and then we're done with that piece. There is interfacing for that piece also. All right, sectioned side main panel. I'm gonna skip that for a second. I need, where is it? I need the lower side panel. I'm gonna do this first. Okay, this is D, so I need two of these and I'm doing, so this is the gusset, I'm doing that in my glitter vinyl. So I need to cut two of these. Oh, it does not fit there. And I know I'm kind of going in the middle of this, so if the author oh, seems so sorry, but there's a little speck right there, and then it's kind of wrinkled down here. So I'm just trying to, it might not show exactly on the camera, but I'm just trying to get the best cut. 
Okay, so then we're done with that. With those two pieces. And then we have a bottom panel. This is also the same size as that main slip pocket. So it is the same piece. And try to find a good spot. You could add purse feet to this bag. I do not though. But they would go on this piece. Okay. Not done with this piece because we need to cut our front slip pocket. Okay. My strap connectors. I'm going to do... Ooh, I don't know. I think I want to do them in my print because then it's a little accent. Yeah, okay. And then also in my print, or my solid, I'm going to be doing my section with the middle main panel. two of these and this is a rectangle print too if you want to use a ruler and rotary cutter for that done with that piece. Okay, I do need, the last thing I need to do with this is my handles. So they are one inch wide handles, which means you cut a four inch piece, but I am doing two tone. So I'm going to cut two inches and two inches. So that means that I'll cut four and then I'll cut it down. Should be done with that, and that's pretty much the straps at this point. Cut this in half. Okay, and then from our printed vinyl, we need those two straps. like we cut. And then we'll do these strap connectors in a second because we need four of the section side panel. So two and two. So we'll cut two and two mirrors. And 
And these aren't cut on the fold because it's pieces. Again, if cutting the curves with a rotary cutter is difficult, you can trace it. Okay. Yes, curve, curve, we have two, so I'm going to try it two again. I have just enough sign. <laughs> Mess this up. Flip it over. <laughs> okay, and then those are mirrored. We did it. Done with that piece. Okay, um, our strap connectors. If you are doing exterior style one and no crossbody strap, you don't need any strap connectors. If you're doing exterior one with the webbing straps and you are doing a crossbody, you need two. If you're doing exterior style two with the vinyl or fabric handles, you're going to need four of these kit to connect those handles. And then if you're doing a crossbody strap, you'll need two. So I'm doing both. I need six of these. And... I think they go this way. Yeah. Okay. So I need 12 inches across. Those who don't I I don't think you can see him. Oh, he's right there. He's so cute and spoiled. I just want to be a spoiled cat. My boyfriend said I am a spoiled cat, so that's fine. Not sure how, but... So like for this piece, it was two by three. So I cut 12 by three since I needed six of them. And then I just go down and cut every two inches. And then that way, like if you're using this and you're cutting, you kind of have to use more vinyl because you're going out with the rotary marks. At least I am. Um, this is a thinner vinyl, so I'll probably take a little deck, deck of the light scrap on each one just to reinforce them. Yeah, we, uh, we were cutting it close. Um, I do think I want to make a 
tiny accent with these, I think. We'll see. Okay, our main panel slip pocket. So that is what we are using this clear vinyl for. And I'm putting one on the front and one on the back. So we need two of these. And again, this is the same piece that is the bottom panel. Okay, and then I need an accent for the top of it. I think the last time I made this, I put my pocket down lower so it got sewed into the seam. But I could do an accent on the top and the bottom. Or just stitch it down. Hmm. I'm going to take this to make my little accent. So I need a one inch strip. So I'm just gonna cut an inch for this whole piece and then that'll be it for both of them. So this will get folded over the top. That'll be really cute. And then I think the bottom will just get stitched down. It'll be okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> so we're done with that piece. Goodness. Alright. We definitely need to interface these pieces. They need interfaced. And then these center pieces, I feel like they might be okay, but I think we need to interface them. So here is not want to lay flat. This is what it's going to look like. <laughs> so cute. So we'll have this little bit of trim that runs across there. And then we'll have this accent at the top. You know, it's a little bit hard to see. Okay, so the front and the back are the same. And then we'll have our two-tone handles here. Our gusset is going to be the pink glitter. Our little connectors. And then... Yeah, okay. This is really cute. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's, it's going to be really cute. Okay, but we need some interfacing for some pieces. And we have all those interfacing template pieces. Alright. So, let's see here. I think I used Woven and Deck of the Light last time. With those thin vinyl pieces, we're going to put some Woven interfacing behind them before we do our other interfacing. Yes. So we have the upper main panel interfacing, 
we have the upper side panel interfacing, the sectioned side panel interfacing, sectioned middle panel interfacing, our bottom stabilizer, and our lower side panels, which is our gusset. So the bottom will get a stabilizer piece and the rest get interfacing pieces. Okay. But we're going to double up the interfacing on these. Yes. So we could just put um, the woven interfacing on all of these and they should be okay. The recessed zipper panel I'm not worried about. Um, it doesn't really do anything extra. Okay. So those will all get woven. And then we're going to do some um, Sophie's Plus. Man, I drew a blank. We will cut Sophie's Plus out of these, except for this. This is going to be decorable heavy for the bottom. So a few plus, we'll do some um, poly soft. Yeah. We'll do some poly soft on these to stabilize them. And then the Sophie's plus. And so these pieces will get double. Yeah, it's going to be good. So that means I do need that piece again. Alright, so we need to cut two and two from this. So, I will double it up. Um, also, I just want to say if you are sewing on a domestic and you need to do less interfacing, that is fine. Um, just keep in mind it won't be as structured or sturdy, but do what you gotta do. It is all good. Fit. Okay, it doesn't quite fit, but it is just to stabilize this a little bit more, and it's going to be within the seam allowance, so it's fine. There's no use in wasting if it's that close. <laughs> what did I do? Alright. And then what was that? 12 by 3. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on those connectors and then I think they'll be fine. I'll just place them all next to each other and then trim them off easier. Okay. So here's plus. Alright, so 
So two of C, which is the lower side panel interfacing. Sorry, I'm going to mix this up a little probably just to get the pieces fit in so I'm not wasting. Okay. We need, yeah, four of the upper main panel interfacing. One more of that. This is where it gets funny about <laughs> sitting things. <sighs> All right, we're just gonna do it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four of the upper main panel. Interfacing, we're done with that piece. And then this will make two of the lower side panel. And then we'll be done with that piece. We need four upper side panel interfacing. Um, so I'm using this Sofuse Plus, but this pink glitter vinyl is pretty thick. If I was using this vinyl for everything, um, I would probably just use Deck of All Heavy. But since I'm already interfacing it with something else. I think it'll be just fine with um, this on top of the woven interfacing. Okay, so then we need two of our center. There's one section side panels. Uh, 
and you need to mirror them. So two and two. on the wall. Oh, it's be a long day. <laughs> and I think, oh, we just have to cut the bottom stabilizer. There's stuff everywhere. That does not fit. Okay. So I'm getting back a little heavy for the bottom stabilizer. All right. Now I think we're good. Let's see. This is. Bottom stabilizer. So that'll be there. And then, okay, so that's a center. That's a side. That's a side. That's a center. Side. Side. And then, so those, I've got the interfacing over here for them. And then they'll get that on them after. And so these stabilizers that we just, or interfacing that we just cut with the interfacing pieces, they are going to be centered on the pieces. Okay, so there's those center pieces. Okay. And then we have our side gussets. And their interfacings. And then there's our bottom. So if this was a thinner vinyl, I would have put like a woven on it before this one too. And then we have our um, side uppers. So they're gonna get their little interfacing pieces. And I'll center these better once I get there. Oh, there's the last one. Got those. And then, let's see here. Our handles. If I wasn't doing this with this thicker vinyl, I maybe would have interfaced this, but layered it's gonna be great and then we've got our upper main panels and their interfacing so there's four of those and then we have our Flip pockets and our trim for the top of them. I do believe we have cut everything. So again, this is exterior two with interior two. Um, if if you want to do interior one, you don't cut the center divider, and then instead of the divided lining gusset pieces, you're just gonna cut the regular ones. Um, so it's less pieces, less work. And then for exterior one, you don't have any handles. You don't have the three pieces for the main panels. You just have one. 
and you have the webbing. So that's kind of easier too and it's less hardware. Um, but those are the main differences. You could try adding foam too. I added foam when I did exterior one with just a cotton woven. Um, and I only added the foam to the exterior pieces. I didn't to the gusset pieces. But anyways, um, I'll have the sewing video up right after this cutting video. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to sew it. Yay. Have a great day. Just a quick little sneak. I laid these out like this. So this is the gist of what it'll look like. And I can't wait to sew it.